All right, Thursday podcast. Um, hey, Bill, on the old clips, uh, you talked about an urban legend. Oh, yeah, I was talking about all those urban legends about, you remember Pop Rocks? Dude, there was a kid and he, he ate a whole bottle, he sucked down a whole package of Pop Rocks and his fucking stomach exploded. And there was always the one about, dude, there was a kid who he put, in, he put an M80, which is a, an eighth of a stick of dynamite, I believe. We always thought it was a quarter stick. I think it's an eighth. Stuck it in the back of some kid's pocket, lit it, and uh, blew half the kid's ass off. So this guy says, um, well, in the mid-80s, my brother, my stepbrother did just that. He had to get skin grafted from his thigh to his ass. It's no urban legend from New Jersey. Oh, maybe that's where it started. They always say there's a little bit of truth in all of that shit. Is that what they say? That is what they say. Two, Billy. Holy shit, the Thursday podcast is the best thing you could have done. You are a genius. I'm not a genius. Andrew came up with it. Uh, the old clips are hilarious. I love dropping in on the middle of an old school podcast, catching you in a random mood. Yeah, that is the thing, because my vibe on this Thursday, then it connects with whatever the fuck I was talking about on some Monday in like 2009 or 10 or something. So I guess that would be a weird little mashup, as the kids say. Um... This person said, I listen to a lot of podcasts over time. Some of them change. The hosts get egos and the vibe is different. I love how you're 10 times bigger than you were when you, oh, look at this whole fucking ball rubbing thing here. Did I write this? I'm 10 times bigger than I was, everybody, when I started the podcast, but I still act the same. All freckles is down to her. Well, when you're a balding, redheaded male, you really don't have the opportunity to take your shirt off and VIP, do you? Huh? Spin it around your head. I swear to God, if I had pigment, I would be a much... Oh, my God. I, the ego I would fucking have. Are you kidding me? If I had pigment, a full head of hair, you guys wouldn't even know me. Um, the day that they actually come up with a pill, because I, I would never do that fucking, you know, taking hair from the back of your fucking head, putting on... I would never do that. I'm not, I'm not fucking doing that. Numbing up my head. It's just like, all right, dude. Bill, why don't you just admit that it's over? All right, fucking buzz it down, grow some sort of facial hair, you know, or just shave your face and let people look like a, just make them look at a, a, a rapidly approaching 50 year old adult baby. <laughs> <laughs> how mad, don't do this by the way, cause you'll get in trouble, but how fucking funny and how mad would the person get if you walked up to a fucking guy who had his head clean shaved and his face, he didn't have any facial hair, all right? And he's in his 40s or whatever. You just walked up to him. He's sitting in a bar, minding his own business. And you walked up and you're underneath his chin. You went, a uh, goochie, goochie, goo. A uh, goochie, ah, uh, boo, ah, uh, boo. Like, how far could you get away before that person? I think I would, well, no, somebody touching you would make you mad. Other than that, I mean, I think I'd laugh. Um, but don't do that, everybody. Okay, the world is a, is is a bad enough place. You really don't need, you know, you know. Do you really need a bar fight? Think about that, people. At what point in your in your life do you sit there and be like, you know, what would be a good asset to my life right now, both spiritually, personally, and legally? Uh, a nice knockdown, drag out bar fight. Although that would be funny though if that happened, and then you guys actually decided to work it out on like Judge Judy. You know, and she comes out there all fucking extra angry for the fucking, uh, you know, for the TV cameras. And you went out there and, the, you know, the bald guy's got to go, uh, you know, it's minding my own business. And this mate come up and he, he put his finger, Charlie bit my finger and it hurt. He put it on, on my cheek and on my chin. And what did he say at that time? Oh, he said, a coochie, coochie, coo. Right, and I didn't like it. <laughs> I don't know why I had to be English. Oh, uh, whatever the fuck I was just trying to do. Right, there's no robbery. I got to get back to fucking Peaky Blinders when I get back. Um, I'm two episodes in, and I'm going to watch every fucking episode I can before I go to, to all my shows in Boston there. Um, all right. What else was there? Uh, thanks for the laugh, man. My days go by much quicker. No worries, everybody. Look at that. The Thursday afternoon... Just before Friday, Monday morning podcast, the just checking in on your podcast to make it fucking quicker is really, look at, people are liking it. Check it out if you can.